Hey, Badger Buddies, open up that learning hole because here are mysterious things discovered in space that have scientists stumped. Number 11. Back in 2017, the Pan-STARRS telescope located at the Haleakala Observatory in Hawaii spotted a mysterious object floating through our solar system. Scientists named the traveling enigma Oumuamua because astronomers just really want to make space as inaccessible as possible possible to the average person. What makes Oumuamua baffling is that it didn't just cruise through our solar system on its road trip across the galaxy. It flew close to the sun and then suddenly accelerated and blew out of the solar system. Astronomers have no clue where Oumuamua came from or what caused its acceleration. Avi Loeb, the chairman of Harvard's astronomy department, and his postdoctoral fellow, Shmuel Bialy, suspect that Oumuamua may be a, quote, fully operational probe sent intentionally into Earth's vicinity by an alien civilization, end quote. The aliens have found us. Well, there goes the neighborhood. Number 10. Nothing goes out with a bang like a star. And I'm not talking about Kurt Cobain. Ooh. Supernovas are the explosive end for some stars, and they are so bright that they can be seen far across the universe. About 450 years ago, one of the only supernova in the history of our species was seen with the naked eye. But what caused the explosion is still a mystery to scientists. The blast is known as SN1572, and it is considered a Type 1A supernova. The theory is that these are thermonuclear explosions that occur when two white dwarf stars collide with each other. What is this, Gondor? This is supposed to be a video about space, Gavin. Why are you talking about white dwarfs? A white dwarf is a star that has exhausted all of its nuclear fuel and is at the end of its burning stage. The popular theory is that when two of these stars get close enough, the larger one absorbs the matter of the smaller one and then kaboom! Number 9. Next up is the Dark Flow, which also happens to be my rapper alias. I'm the Dark Flow. I can spit fast or I can spit slow. I put on this show to help your mind grow. I spit hot fire! Astronomers have identified what looks to be a group of distant galaxies that they have decided to call the Dark Flow. They gave the galaxies this moniker because they're traveling at a speed of over a million miles per hour. Astronomers don't know how or why the galaxies are moving that fast or even where they're headed. Some suspect that the dark flow is being pulled by some huge but undiscovered celestial body that's pulling the galaxies toward itself. Currently, these galaxies are moving away from Earth, but what is unsettling is that scientists do not rule out the possibility that this strange phenomenon pulls a U-turn and heads back in our direction sometime in the future. Number 8. Oumuamua isn't the only celestial body that has people considering the possibility of alien life. Extraterrestrials have been implicated in the puzzling dimming of Tabby's star. Tabby's star sits about 1,500 light years away from our blue planet. What makes Tabby's star particularly perplexing is that it will occasionally and without warning drop in brightness by a stunning 22%. Some other stars will dim and brighten as other planets pass in front of them, but there seems to be no rhyme or reason to Tabby's star. One theory is that the cause of the dimming may be a mega structure built by an advanced alien species to harvest the star's energy. Dr. Eva Bodman at Arizona State University is skeptical of that theory, however, and suggests the dimming may be due to complex clouds of space dust. Either way, Tabby Star has scientists all over the planet scratching their heads. Number 7. 3 billion light years from Earth is the largest object in space. It's known as a supervoid, and it's so large that it takes objects traveling at the speed of light hundreds of millions of years just to travel through it. Hey, supervoid. Your mama is so big, she curves time and space. Hey, Supervoid, 
Your mama is so big that she uses Google Earth to take a selfie. A super void. Your mama is so big it took Thanos two snaps to kill her. <laughs> Scientists have found a cold spot in the super void. It's an unusually cool region in the background radiation that has lingered throughout the universe ever since the Big Bang. Astronomers don't know exactly why this region is colder than the area around it, but one scientist, Tom Shanks, posits that, quote, the cold spot was caused by a collision between our universe and another bubble universe, end quote. What Tom is saying here is that inside of the super void, they may have found evidence of a multiverse. Number six. Of all the things in the universe that have scientists confused, fast radio bursts, also known as FRBs, might be the most vexing. These are sudden and rapid chirps of radio waves that last no longer than a couple of milliseconds. The first recorded FRB was picked up by a radio telescope in 2007, and researchers have been trying to make sense of the phenomenon ever since. It appears that these mysterious bursts are originating millions of light years from outside of the Milky Way. Now here's a total mind blow, so buckle up. In order for FRBs to be seen from such a distance, they must release as much energy in a fraction of a second as the sun does in 80 years. We are completely clueless on how these things are formed. Some say that they are caused by black holes colliding. Others say it's aliens. It's probably aliens. Number five. The Bermuda Triangle of Space! Because the magnetic fields of Earth aren't perfectly aligned to the rotation axis of the planet, there are certain points where radiation belts come closest to the Earth's surface. Somewhere in orbit about 100 miles north of the Atlantic Ocean is an aberration by the name of the Southern Atlantic Anomaly. The SAA is also known as Space's Bermuda Triangle. When the International Space Station passes through this area, its computers can stop working and the astronauts experience cosmic flashes, which isn't as sexy as it sounds. There's no nudity, it's just radiation stimulating their retinas. Well, at least something is getting stimulated, am I right? Further study of the South Atlantic anomaly is necessary for the future of commercial space travel. Number four. Back in 2018, a bright flash suddenly came out of the Hercules constellation. Hercules, Hercules. It was so bright that the light emitted was equivalent to a hundred supernova. Scientists called the flash the cow because scientists are super mean that way. The light remained for two weeks, and theories of what was causing it were flying around like hotcakes. What? Some believe that it was caused by a black hole consuming a white dwarf. Others think it was the forming of a black hole. Nobody knows! Number three. The moon is shrinking. According to a new study published by Nature Geoscience, the moon's core is cooling, and that has resulted in its shrinkage of about 150 feet. An embarrassed moon has promised that it's usually much bigger. It's just that it's super cold in space. As it shrinks, the moon's brittle surface crust breaks and this creates thrust faults. Thrust faults sound like a kinky activity for behind the bedroom door, but really what it is, is moonquakes. Moonquakes are a real thing and they can be quite strong, measuring about five on the Richter scale along the lunar fault lines. The more the moon quakes, the more it shrinks. But don't be worried, the moon isn't going anywhere. The 150 foot shrinkage happened over a couple hundred million years. Before we move on, be sure to subscribe. Hit the bell button to get notified of new videos and we always appreciate a big thumbs up. Number two, we've got an imposter. Japanese astronomers have found a star in the Milky Way that appears to be different from all others in our galaxy. That star is crashing our party. Someone bounce him out of here. It's low in magnesium and high in europium, which is one of the least abundant elements in the universe. 
It's so much different from the rest of the stars in its neighborhood that scientists believe it was actually formed in another galaxy that was cannibalized by the Milky Way a long time ago. That's right, don't mess with the Milky Way. We will cannibalize your galaxy, son. Number one. Remember to double tap the head because coming in at number one is the zombie star. This anomaly has blown the minds and eaten the brains of astronomers for over five years. Back in 1954, astronomers observed the supernova explosion of a huge star named IPTF 14 HLS. Cool name, bro! But here's what's crazy. 60 years later, in 2014, IPTF 14 HLS exploded again! Scientists quickly named it the Zombie Star because it seems to have returned from the afterlife. This is the only star that has ever been observed to explode twice. Astronomers believe that the Zombie Star is gone for good this time. But we all know that zombies always come back when you least expect them. 